Vietnam is a land of enchanting beauty. Lush rice fields carpet the countryside, often making their way up steep mountain terraces. While beautiful, these fields leave stagnant water throughout the land. Together with heat and humidity, this is the perfect recipe for the proliferation of deadly malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Producing three crops of rice annually, Vietnam should be a country with endemic malaria year-round, killing thousands of people. Instead, over the last 20 years, Vietnam has reduced its number of yearly malaria deaths from 4,000 to 40. Considering a total population of 80 million, this success is impressive. Vietnam now has approximately the same number of malaria deaths as France. It's early morning in the commune of Son Tan, Can Hoa province in central Vietnam. Cao Thi Li, a local community health worker, is arriving to do her weekly health tour in the commune's scattered villages. Today she is accompanied by her supervisor, Dr. Nguyen Nop. When she's not acting as a health worker, Lee is a teacher in the village school. She has lived in this village for many years and like the rest of this remote community, she is Raglai. A minority group, the Raglai have their own distinct language, traditions and culture. Lee was chosen by the village chief to attend a special training course on malaria organized by the local district health officer. She is one of thousands of community health workers in Vietnam who can be found in every village across the nation. Today, Lee is making her regular door-to-door -door visits, checking the health of the Raglai villagers. She is also trying to detect early cases of malaria and ensuring everyone, particularly children under five and pregnant women, sleeps under their mosquito nets. In this particular village, the residents sleep under Permanet, a long-lasting insecticide-treated mosquito net supplied three years ago by Vestergaard Franzen. As part of her routine work, Lee has discovered that one of the people in this household is exhibiting headache, fever, nausea, all classic symptoms of malaria. Putting her training into practice, Lee takes a blood sample from Cao Lan, a 25-year-old father of three. While waiting for the blood to dry in the microscope slide, Lee checks the health of the entire family, giving some vitamins to the children. Once dry, she and Nop from the Kanpu Malaria Research Team take the slide to the nearest health facility, about five kilometers down the valley. To make this journey to Yang Wong, they use a motorcycle provided by the local government to all community health workers. The malaria research team at the health center analyzes the slide under a microscope and announces the result. The test is positive. The villager is infected with malaria and must be treated rapidly. The doctor at the health center gives Lee the necessary treatment free of charge. He explains to her that the patient should take the ACT drug over three days and must complete the full course of treatment for it to be effective. <laughs> Em à, trong à, tuần thì mấy lần cũng có Nhưng thông thường là một tuần mấy lần? Một tuần thì thông thường thì à, không phát hiện gì thì hai lần cũng có Mà em thích là trong à, thôn mình là có sức khỏe Lee returns to her village by motorcycle to give the locally manufactured drug to Cao Lan and explain to him how to take it she then carries on with the rest of her visits to every house in the village. She makes sure the residents are using their permanent properly and monitoring their health regularly. Occasionally, Lee runs health information sessions with villagers. Today, she is talking to them about malaria. <laughs> Vietnam's comprehensive malaria control program is unique. Facets include identification and training of community health workers, health clinics in nearly every village, and available malaria treatment with government manufacturing of all necessary drugs to decrease the possibility of counterfeits. 
For malaria prevention, insecticide-treated mosquito nets are used across the entire country along with indoor residual spraying where needed. Finally, results are carefully monitored and reported regularly, both provincially and nationally. Additionally, the importance of long-term commitment, strong political will and leadership of the national government is essential. Partnership with local and provisional leaders all the way down to community level is needed as well. All this hard work has paid off. The National Malaria Control Programme has dramatically decreased the number of malaria cases in this at-risk region, making Vietnam a worldwide leader in the fight against malaria.